going to say a few words about why making public transport free would improve the situation for young workers. Thanks, Mel. Thanks, everyone, for coming. Um, just for people that don't know, Unite is a union for fast food and retail workers here in Victoria. Most of our members are, are young, they're casual, and they're low paid. And um, the reason that we take an interest in, this, in, the, in the issue of public transport is because public transport um, constitutes a, a big percentage of, of our members' pay packets, and that's what, what, what they're spending their, their money on. They're also, in many cases, forced to use public transport to get to work because that, that's their only options. I mean, many people out there, they want to use public transport because it's environmentally friendly, but because of the costs, because of the lack of access, because it's not accessible, they've been forced into cars and they've been forced to do some things that they don't want to do. I mean, in fact, I was saying to someone before that some reports are showing that at least 80% of people in Melbourne suburbs do not have access to something that could be described as a, an efficient and integrated system. They're not, they don't have access to something that where the regularity is within the, the confines of about 10 minutes or so. If you live in the suburbs, you're often waiting 30, 40 minutes for, for either a bus or a train. Trams are practically non-existent. Now, I think that... Um, one of the biggest complaints that we get about public transport, obviously the MyKey ticketing system is an absolute debacle, but at the same time it's the costs, the absolute costs. If you're a young worker, a low paid worker, you're getting paid youth rates. For people that don't know this, it's legal in this country for young workers some in some industries to be paid as little as half of the minimum wage. So we've got some young workers working in retail, working in fast food, that are being paid as little as seven or eight dollars an hour. At the same time, if you're lucky to get a concession card, you'll be looking to get a, a, a daily ticket, is something in the order of $4. So if you're working a three hour shift, the truth of the matter is you're probably only going to be getting paid for about two and a half hours. It's, an abs it's a, a huge burden on young workers' pay packets and a huge work burden on, on low paid people in general. That's, by the way, if you can get a concession card because there's a whole lot of people out there that aren't entitled to them, including international students. Um, I mean, a as a union, we believe that the cost of public transport should be borne by businesses. They are the biggest beneficiaries of the public transport system. That's how we help get people to work and home and so on and so forth. And in a modern society, that's, that, that public transport is quite integral to employers and to the way that they make profits. We say that they should be, be forced to pay the cost of the public transport system. Already workers pay taxes and that money is already used to be, to, is supposed to be already being used to pay for these type of services. At the same time, we've got a situation where employers and big business in this country is being, is, is being given tax concessions time after time after time and at the same time, ordinary people, people that don't make profits, are being asked to pay more and more and more for their public transport, let alone all the other things that are impacting on, on, their, on their pay packets as far as the rising cost of living is concerned. What we say is that employers should be forced to, make the public, uh, to, to fund the public transport system. That could be done through an increase in company tax. But it's not even that. I mean, we've got a situation where even without doing that, the public transport system could be made free tomorrow and it would be cheaper to run even without touching the company tax rates. Someone, there's a figure in the age only a few weeks ago that, that on all the subsidies that are handed over to the, the private operators, that's Metro, Yarra Trams and also the Mikey ticketing system Crooks, we're looking at about $1.5 billion a year in corporate subsidies. That's what the government is handing over to these crooks today. The most extreme estimates, extreme estimates of what it costs to run this system for free is about 500 million. So that leaves one billion dollars free every year to be pumped into extra train lines, more tra trains, more buses, more trains on the tracks. And that's the type of thing that we should be fighting for, I think. I think a lot of people say to us, well, what, 
it's, I think people that were a bit older and were using public transport prior to the 1990s would remember that when the system was publicly owned. But you've got a lot of young people out there today that know nothing else apart from Connex, Metro Trains and all these other corporate profiteers that have been running our systems. So we've got to wage the argument in the community, I think, for this idea of free public transport. A lot of people ask questions like what would happen to the workers that work in those, in those, um, for those companies at the moment. Well, the first thing that you could do after you brought the system back into public ownership would be to redeploy all those workers that work for Mikey, that work for Metro, that work for Yarra Trams, not only those, but also the PSOs that are stationed on all the, uh, now stationed on um, all the train stations around the, the city, but also the ticket inspectors. All of these people could be redeployed so that we could restaff the stations, restaff the trams with conductors, and put customer service officers scattered right around this system to help people, to help people uh, let them know, you know, how the system works and where they need to go. That's the type of system that I want to be fighting for, and that's the type of system that I think is absolutely viable. Um, despite the fact that the money that they're wasting on, this, on um, corporate subsidies today. I think, I think you know, what, what we're saying as a union, I think, is that this issue is an important issue for workers. It particularly impacts on the lives of low-paid workers and it particularly impacts on the lives of young people. And for that reason, we need to stop the waste, stop the corporate subsidies and start to continue this campaign for public ownership and to make this system free. That's the only way that we're going to improve public transport in this city. Get people out of the cars into a decent and efficient, integrated, free system and that, and that way, um, that, that would change Melbourne for the better in many, many ways, shapes and form. I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for listening at the cold and I'll hand it back to my...